some additional new enhancements have been added to the command line area as well. And a couple of these are really nice. Now, if I pull my command line out of the docked area, the first thing you'll notice is that it now has the capability of transparency. Well, if I select on the wrench, you see that we, again, have the autocomplete choices. But I also have a couple of new options as well. The first is the lines of prompt history. And if I select on that, it then asks me for how many lines I'd like to see in my command line history. And mine's set to five. So let's just say if I enter L for the line command and start drawing a line, you'll see the lines of prompt come up above that command. And once I end the command, if we wait a few seconds, you'll see that command line history fade away. Now, that's pretty cool. Also, if I go back to my wrench here, I have the choice to select transparency, both in the unselected state or in the selected state so that when I roll over it becomes untransparent. Now, for what I think is one of the neatest new capabilities of the command line is the ability to, se to select the command line options from the command line. If I start the polyline command and I draw in my first line here and now I want to draw an arc, I can come down here and select the arc option right from the command line. Now that's pretty cool. And then if I want to use the second point option, I can simply select on it there and continue to draw my polyline. So I no longer have to enter the A or the S to choose that command line option. And this, of course, will work for any of the options that are available for any of the commands where you're used to having to enter a letter and enter for the, those options. So I really like that. And you're going to see that we're going to be using it a lot through the course of these videos.